Hello everyone and welcome back to the medieval city of Grandport. Um, so, off screen I have done lots of little tweaks and enhancements again and a couple of the tedious little bits of um, management that needed doing that would have been boring to watch. So, um, we will have a little look around. It's nothing major, just added a couple more little market stalls, sorted out our trade a little bit better so that hopefully our financial burdens will be fixed. And in that time, we got a little bit of money, which allowed me to unlock two of these regions here. I just want to unlock this one here. Maybe this one as well, actually, before we build our huge dock that hopefully will span all of the this harbour out into the mountains. Well, these cliffs that we've got. Hopefully, it will look pretty cool. But yeah, we're making a decent amount of money now. We have a military mission available. I don't know if our soldiers are well enough for that at the minute. I'm not sure if we've got several wounded we've got four wounded at present some of our very decent ones though but i think we'll be okay actually to go for do you know what we've got 11 days left so let's let's think about it we'll send them at the last minute hopefully then we'll have less people who are injured um i do need to make some tweaks i want to move some of these warehouses um i don't think i've done anything here uh i've only added a couple of markets here for our inner city though i have made a hell of a lot of changes Added in some houses and some important buildings. We've got a butcher's up here, a bakery, a blacksmith, um, a weaponsmith's being built, several more market stalls, um, and iron smelters. And I've made some changes to our inn, which is pretty big now, with its kitchens and its stables, um, and a huge garden, private garden area, which I do want to add more stuff into. But yeah, that's coming along nicely. Still not quite finished though. But hopefully it won't be too long. We've got two unemployed people. I don't think we've really got anyone who needs employment at the minute. I don't think anything's changed down here. There was a few mistakes that I made, which were like actually massive cock-ups. I actually made it now so we are butchering animals as well as uh, milking more animals and such. So the farms are running more efficiently now. Uh, as well as a few of our other buildings down here, such as our vegetable garden. So we are bringing in a lot more money in that way. Um, I think that's about it. We've just gained another villager. Um, I do need to see if we've got anywhere that needs some workers. And we have a vegetable farm that doesn't have anyone. And we have a market, which I don't know where that is. Oh, it's a market in the wooden keep. I shouldn't have added anyone to that. We've got a dung heap that doesn't have anyone, so we'll send someone there as well. Let's go back to this wooden keep. We don't actually need um, that market attendant for now. We'll put you somewhere else of better use because we don't have any of the materials that we can actually sell from there. And also had a comment in the last episode how we can finally get rid of this. So let's see if I have remembered how to do it properly and see if we can get rid of this. Uh, where it's going to be on here is we've got a hell of a lot of buildings. I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. Might take me a little while. Um, it's one of our rampant since it, isn't it? Uh, ah! Just found it. Open rampant. Open rampant. Delete. Yes. Finally, that hideous randomly placed rampant is gone. Thank you so much for helping me do that. I can't remember the name of the person I do apologize, but great shout out to you. Thank you so much. You've, oh, that makes me feel so much better that that hideous thing has finally gone. Um, we've got eight more days until the military can come. We're in bad weather at the minute, so that is going to affect our harvest. And our berry gathering, but it makes it so we get more fish, I believe. So we don't need to worry too much. We've got a ridiculous amount of fish and cheese and berries anyway. So, it, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we are waiting for, basically, the bakery to finish here. Uh, the our weaponsmiths and our inn, which is going to be more jobs. And hopefully a lot more income as well. Um, yeah, it's just waiting so that we can build this port finally. This is what... I've been building up to for the last few episodes, but money has made it hard to come by to get it to do, uh, to build that. But hopefully soon we'll be able to do that. Um, let's have a look at our army. We've only got three wounded soldiers now, so hopefully we've got eight more days to fulfill that military conquest. So hopefully they'll be healed by that time. We are still losing a little bit of money. Upkeep and territory is what's costing us the most at the minute. But our marketplace is bringing in a lot of money. A hell of a lot of money that our, our market's now bringing in. Our trade isn't bringing as much in, which is pretty bad, considering we have got a lot to trade. It's not bringing a lot in. Um, where do we actually store dung? Where does dung get stored? Does it just get stored in these 
buckets because we've got several dung and dung collectors now provides um compost to the villagers where can compost be stored because i don't think we can store it on here surely it's not in the granary surely not um no vegetables herbs hop i need to learn how to make hop how do we create hop guys uh, so that we can brew beer. I haven't seen anything on the build menu that says that it produces hop. So I'm not sure how we produce that in game. So please let me know. Whoever knows. I'm sure one of you will know. Um, trying to give us anything else. We could probably do some more poultry farms around. Because we're not creating a lot of chicken and poultry. So I would like to add a couple more of those in people's gardens and such maybe. Um, maybe another hunter's hut. But then again we've got a ridiculous amount of boar anyway. So probably not going to need that. We do have the water mill, but I will build that once we have the dock made. We'll make that as part of the dock. Well, I say docks. It's going to be hopefully a very huge and impressive looking harbour. Still need to create that tawny ground as well, which is something that I'm looking forward to getting around to doing at some point when we have a huge area of flat land. Maybe down near the docks. This would have probably been a good area here. We could probably clear out this area and create a, a nice big tawny area a nice big jousting arena arena and wow we've just got a load of money come from somewhere so we are making money not enough to purchase another area but nearly enough maybe by the time we send out another conquest it will be enough let's have a look at our soldiers still got three wounded don't know how long it's going to take them to recover one's only a novice but two are level five so pretty decent troops who actually is our highest ranking troop now it is Cass and Edric Firehand doing the Firehands proud with Nana Harlor and Pierce Snow not far behind. Um, I do have an awesome name thanks to Matt for our next female soldier, Mega Rack, which is the, the best um, AI generated name I think I've ever had in a game. An awesome name. That is from the Knights of Andalia. Of course, for many of you who are fans of that series, if you've not seen it and you like Crusader Kings um, series, I suggest checking that one out and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, we've got five more days for that military mission. Come on, we need you to recover so that we... Oh, we've got three? Why have we... I oh, know we had three wounded, didn't we? Um, but yeah, we want them to recover. If it gets any closer, we can just send it without. But I want to send as many men as possible. Then hopefully we can finish a military quest, which will give us a huge, huge amount of, um, money for doing so. Of, uh, one place with no worker is on, but that's fine. That is that area that we don't want anyone in until we can create stuff to go there. I need to move these warehouses as they are actually really bad to have around a village area. It does make people uncomfortable. That was another awesome tip in the last video uh, given by you guys. So thank you very much. And we've got a huge amount of villagers coming here. Three or four who are about to join Grandport. We're at nearly 260 civilians now, which is awesome. Um, right. Are they recovered yet? No. Do you know what? I'll prepare my troops right away. Send soldiers to the king. Missions. Prepare troops. Let's send everyone who isn't wounded. And it should be a fairly easy victory for us, hopefully. Um, yeah, it says that we've got an extreme chance with those 13 troops that we're sending. The other three will hopefully recover by then. Maybe we can get some more troops by then and send them on another military conquest. And yeah, our... Daily balance is getting better and better. Hopefully we'll be in the profit there soon. And what's taking so long with these buildings? Um, resources missing. We need more tools. Okay. Um, I don't think we're stockpiling tools or anything, are we? No. Apparently we're stockpiling gems, even though we can't get hold of them. Um, we've got no tools at all, so we need more tools. Okay. Uh, what's taking so long with this building? Is it the same? Yes, missing tools. And this, is it the same? Yes, missing tools, missing polished stone, stone. Yeah, there's a lot missing from the tavern then that they've yet to get around to. That's fine. Um, we have got, got an iron smelter. Where's our blacksmiths? Here. Two blacksmiths are signed, so we need them to start creating tools. Let's, we could always trade for some tools. And we've got three new villagers. Awesome. We'll try and get them in work soon. Um, what am I doing? I want to go on trade resources can we please buy in buy tools until we've got 40 yes let's start bringing tools in through trade uh right so we've got three new troops let's assign two of those to become soldiers let's have a look at our new soldiers who have we got who is unnamed um 
novice main work and here's another other one novice elf elfland you are going to be called from now on lady mega rack what a name uh confirm and save that's you sorted and main work is from now on going to be who have we not had yet um i know Oswin Steelheart. Confirm and save. Perfect. That's two more soldiers. So let's get them armed so that they can begin training. Um, soldiers, here we go. Untrained. And apparently Mega Rack is already partly trained. I don't know how, considering that she's only just arrived, but awesome. Gives us five troops back home as well, at least. We've got some there. Don't know what to do with those other two unemployed people. I don't know where we can send them that hasn't got... We, we do need some for the bakery and tavern once they're finished. Have we got any tools yet? Zero. Let's try a stockpile then. We've got 20 now. Perfect. Hopefully there. And we've just lost a huge wad of money somewhere. No idea where that 400 just went to. Um, hopefully this bad weather will disappear soon. We could probably build some more marketplaces. Just to bring in more money and more wealth. Um more room down here that we can build. We've actually unlocked this up here on this cliff side. Don't know what we could put there. Do you know what? We could make it residential up on this hill. People can move in if they like up here. I don't know if anyone will want to, but maybe some of the workers from down there might feel that this is a nice place to live on the cliff side. So we'll make it residential for them for now. If anyone does build a house there, we'll build a well and such afterwards. But I'm not going to waste money and time and resources on that unless people are actually going to try and live there. And I think this probably will be a good area for our tawny ground, actually, you know. Just because it's so flat, we are going to need a very nice bit of flat land for our jousting area, our jousting arena. Um, we're doing okay for money. We've got two villagers unemployed still. What are people unhappy about? Lack of food and water, apparently. Which is annoying, because we've got wells literally all over the place. We could probably build a well down here somewhere. I suppose we could do that, just because I don't think there's one down. There's one in the village centre, maybe one down here, just to see if that improves happiness at all. Let's get a little well built here. We need 20 gold to do that, which shouldn't take too long to get. There we go, perfect. Probably add another. I think we've got a good amount of wells down here. Yeah, we've got one here. Um, is that the only well down here? I'm pretty sure we know we've got one there, like really close by, and one here in the castle. We've got plenty of wells. Surely they don't need any more than that. I don't want to clutter the map with wells when they literally don't need that many. It's not very far to walk, is it? Let's be honest. And how's the bakery coming along now? And someone is designed, and they're about to finish it. Perfect. It will soon be finished. And we've just gained four villagers. Wow. Um, ah, what do I do with you all? Um, I think two can be put in the bakery which we could probably do with another wheat farm up here. We do have one here, which is a little bit out of the way, but yeah, we probably do one a little bit closer, I suppose, as well as another mill. Um, what about... This is coming along. Oh, this is finished. The weaponsmith is going to finish first. Perfect. So we'll get some workers in there as soon as it's finished. Oh, he's going to have to leave now. You bastard. So close to finishing both of those buildings. Oh... So annoying. I wonder how our soldiers are getting on. We're yet to hear anything. They've been gone for quite some time. Sheep are running away down here. Come on, Amir. Look after your sheep better, please. And we are victorious. Yes, you can keep my troops for now so that we can hopefully gain more wealth and resources from that. Uh, yeah, we've got a decent amount of tools now. Just waiting for them to finish these two buildings then so that we can get these villages in. What's going on with the tavern? Two builders are bringing resources, so it is taking a long time. The cook's working there, at least. So we're getting some sort of return from it. But it's, it was always going to take a long time to build, I suppose. I am wanting to build the castle down into this mounting face, into the other castle, so that there is another way into the castle there. Maybe some sort of dungeons built in here as well would be cool. And our weaponsmiths has been completed, which I think was over here, wasn't it? Yes, one blacksmith assigned to that. Which will hopefully bring some cash in. And I think our bakery is also complete. Let's get two bakers straight into the bakery. Let's get baking some bed. Uh, bed? Baking some bed? Baking some bread for um, the more important people of town with their very posh and fancy houses up here. Oh yes, very nice. Um, a military mission. 
and a monk requests an audience. We've already got plenty of points for it, so I don't even think it's worth doing because we don't really get anything. So we're going to keep it for ourselves, unless it's an envoy. We only get the, the points to spend, and I think we're actually maxed out on points. It's actually just getting more um, important civilians in place. We've got a military mission available. We've only got five troops. I suppose we could make some more into troops, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if I want to or not. Let's go for Agonet then. Let's get more soldiers. Why not? And Hugolin. Let's add all three of them. Why not? Right, we're going to need new names for you three. Who have we not had yet? Um, Hugolin, you, my friend, shall become. Who have we not had yet? Um, hmm. Ben Free Lancer. Confirm and save. You, my friend, shall become. Hmm, who have we not had yet? Owen Green Star. Confirm and save. And Agonet, you shall become. Hmm. Anger. Seven stocks. I don't actually think we've had one of them yet. Confirm and save. Right, let's arm those. They're going to need arming. They don't yet have weapons. We've got plenty of swords, of course, now as well. Hopefully we're making money off those swords by selling them. We've got a huge amount of soldiers now, though. So we could send them on that military mission. Are our other soldiers recovered yet? Are they still wounded? I don't think we've got any wounded. So we could send them. We could send them out to battle. And... Um, Hopefully bring in a little bit more money from that. Let's have a look. I'll prepare my troops right away. Um, missions. Prepare troops. Yeah, we've got several here who could go on that mission. They have got some experienced people with them. And maybe if we only send them on a small mission. Eight soldiers. Means we've got like, what, 21, 22 soldiers now, which is pretty cool. But we'll send them to help the king. It will hopefully bring in more money when they return. Got a nice amount of gold now. We've got three villages without anything to do. Why we've got that money then, let's... Should we build some more market stalls, maybe? I don't really think there's anything else we need to build. How are we doing for stone, actually, nowadays? We've got a decent amount, not a huge amount. We could probably do with more stone, maybe. Um, do we have more stone anywhere? We've got a small amount of stone down here. Do you know what? Let's build... Let's build another stone cutters camp. Why not? We'll put it... Hmm. I want it too close to anything fancy where it's going to upset people. I have got people living around here. If we put it up here, that's not actually near any houses or such. It is a far, long way away from that stone cutting camp. Let's put it here. It's a little bit near some stuff, but I think it'll be okay. We've got another well here as well. We've got three wells in um, very close proximity. Definitely don't need any more. Hopefully that will be built pretty quick. And we can get three workers in there to mine a little bit more stone. Um, extraction. Hmm, we're going to need to move the hunting grounds then, aren't we? Let's get rid of this hunting zone. Uh, the final battle. Yes, charge. We should be able to win that. Hopefully won't lose any troops. Yeah, let's move this hunting ground ever so slightly. Let's move it. Hmm. Yeah, we can move it all in this area here. We seem to be doing pretty well there before, didn't we? So, And yeah, then we can make this stone extraction. Perfect. Got promotions available. I'm going to avoid that for now. Just because it will make things a little bit harder. Our soldiers were victorious. Hopefully they're going to bring a lot of gold home now with them. Battle history. Did we lose any troops? We've, it's not come up yet. Hopefully we didn't. I hope that we didn't lose any troops. And they come back with a lot of gold and experience. A well has been built. Which will hopefully help out the water. I do apologise if you can hear my little girl shouting. Um, hopefully this stone cutters camp shouldn't take too long. Yeah, they just need a few tools to finish it off. How's our tavern coming along? Is it getting any closer? It doesn't seem to be getting any closer each time we look at it. There are builders working on it. Still need a lot of tools and a lot of 
stone and polished stone and a lot of planks. They're taking a long time to get that built. A hell of a long time. We could prioritise it, I suppose. I just want that money now so that we can expand into these other new areas and start building our harbour. That's what I want right now. More than anything. Hopefully, once our troops come back, we're getting two more villagers, um, we'll be able to do that. Has our stonecutter camp been finished yet? No. Still needs several parts to be added to it. Five villagers now who do need employment though when will our soldiers return they're taking a hell of a long time to come back that's an insane amount of cheese that we've got why are we not selling any of it pretty sure that um we've got it to like literally sell as much of it as we can yeah anything over 40 i've said sell but it's not going anywhere your soldiers are back from a mission and they were victorious. Um, let's make sure that we didn't lose any then. It's not coming up on here yet. But apparently they've returned. Hopefully it will come up with the amount of money that we've got back. It's normally a hell of a lot of money. And our gold ears has gone up a lot there. But we why is our upkeep suddenly become so much more expensive? And we are victorious but my lord your troops have been very helpful. No, I'm going to make those ones return home. Because they are less experienced. And wow, they brought home 839 gold. Wow. So let's um, get this one. And now we literally just need to get these two here. But we can start work on the harbour. Oh, we've actually got enough to buy two. Let's buy this one as well then. I just want to get this one then to build our harbour completely to what I want it to be. Um, we can, can start work on that then, I believe. So let's have a look. Um... We'll let things tick along whilst we do this. Where is... Here it is. I want to build it coming out of here first. So, centre building roof. No, I don't want centre building. I just want some nice stone normal flooring for now. Where would be the best one? I just want it to come out into the ocean for our dock for now. Um, Not sure what would be the best one to use. What's this here? Platform. No. Um, what have we got here? Small squared towers. And wow, they've just brought home even more money, which does give us enough to um, purchase that other territory. Which is a lot of wasted space, but it will hopefully look nice when we're finished. Um, right. Okay, so I've got our first bit, bit of a pier that it's going to come out like this, made of stone with a tower at the end. I'm going to do a lot more work with this, add some raining on something. We're going to have the wall, city walls um, barricaded off as well. But I want to have something very similar to this over in this area coming out as well. So that you have to come in through this centre area to get into the main bit of the harbour where we'll have our main harbour here. These are going to be more of a military outpost areas just in case that we're ever under attack. Um, I'm going to do a lot more work on it. Sort of making up as I go along for now, but I'm not sure um, what to do for the other one yet. So I think I'll just work on making this one a little bit more detailed first to see what it is I want to do completely with it. Let's add a door to the bottom of this tower, which we should be able to do somewhere. Maybe just a simple door. Can we not add this on here? Do have staircases as well. A spiral staircase could look pretty cool on this as well though it's so annoying to try and place you actually have actual bridges as well that we could span off of this let's see if that will work if i get a simple drawbridge drawbridge with arrows stone get let's go for this one let's have a look how it works so ah okay nice that looks pretty cool um Ah, and that actually adds a gate in it, does it? Okay. That that looks really good, actually. Okay, now that I know that, I'm going to definitely use that simple drawbridge. What does this one look like? It's the same. What about this one? Okay, yeah, that one's pretty cool as well. Okay, yes, I'm definitely going to make use of that, I think, in the centre. That would look really good in the, in the centre, I think. Uh, we have got some balconies that we can add onto the tower, which I will do. Ah, here's the doors that I was looking for. Um, arch rampant, this one. There we go. Just down the bottom for now. 
have got a bit of a bit on the roof that we can get up to. Got several windows and stuff that we can also add on, which I will do. Um, I want to put some nice wall on the side of this. Can we use the wall on here? I don't know if we can. I'm not sure if that's a thing that we can do. I'm going to try. Let's see if we can. No, it just instantly goes down into the water. Maybe when it's built we can do that. It doesn't look like we can do that on here, unfortunately. Is there any other wall on here, though, that we can do that with instead? I think that there could be. Most of this I'm probably going to do off um, off screen as usual because I'm so slow and tedious at doing this. What does this do? Okay, that's just a bit of corner floor. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to be doing it with that. What have we got here? Small gate with a stone. Ah, okay, that looks pretty cool. I will probably do something with that. We could always put rampants down the side, but I don't think it'd look as nice as what it could do. Like the sim we could put a simple wooden railing. Uh, nah, I don't think I like that. I don't not think not. I don't think I'm a fan of that, to be honest. I think something else could look better. Um, what about these raised rampants? Do they actually go on there? Hey, yes, they do. Okay, they could work. They could definitely work. We get them in the corners up here. Um, where's the other corner? we twist that around definitely gonna make use of that in the corner there and can we do the same on the other corner please if we can just twist it around god it's so awkward on this to build sometimes it really is um, right okay the same there and then this tower needs moving over one doesn't it here we go and then if we can do the same here, just so we've got a bit of a battlement at least. If we can get it to line up with where we want it. Which is what I find the most annoying thing about building in this game. It The placement is so tedious and annoying. Maybe this tower needs to go in slightly to about... Uh, can we come in, please, tower? Are you going to let me bring you in? Ah, perfect. There we go. Now maybe it will allow me to put these where I wanted to put them. And no, it's not allowing it. Ah, there we go. That needs to come in like that. There we go. Better, much better. I'm going to go with this all the way around, I think. A raised platform with this nice fancy rampant, which is going to take some time to do, possibly. And that wants it to come out further. Can we not come out further, then, like this? Yes, we can. But for some reason, it won't allow it when in there. There we go. That's got it. That's the badger. We've got one that's got stuck down in the ocean. There we go. Right. I am going to crack on with doing this bit off screen though. I think now that we've started our dock, I'm going to lay out the plan. We'll put the buildings in place in the next episode. But I'm going to do some work on this off screen, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. We will end this episode here now that we have unlocked where we want to put our harbour. And we will get to work on making it better for the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching as always guys i hope that you've enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below any tips anything you'd like to see please be sure to let me know and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for the next episode